This is Norbert Herber from Indiana University and GQ Audio. Here's another lesson based on the materials in Composing Music for Games by Chance Thomas. Today, I'll show you how to create an FMOD event for a nested loop. This is just one example of what Chance calls interior pathing. The nested loop he provided for this tutorial has its own brief beginning phrase and was composed so that a section of it can be repeated indefinitely until the game is ready to move on to the next musical building block. Here's how you create a nested loop event in FMOD. We'll right click over here in the events section and choose new event. As always, we want to highlight the master track and click the 3D panner, hit delete on your keyboard. We clear out that 3D panner because it's really not useful for music and it's going to save on processing resources that we need for the game in general. I should also give this new event a name. I'll double click and I'm going to call this nested underscore loop. And we need a sound file for this. Choose File, Import. I'm going to import nested loop.wave. Drag a copy of it here onto that track. Drag it all the way over to the beginning. And once we get it in there, it's a fairly long sound file. It may not fit into your window. Uh, you can grab this little view port down here and fit it in. Uh, you may have the properties open over there. A view properties, it looks like this. This can also clutter things up. You can just hit the P key on your keyboard and toggle that on and off. I think for this, it's probably easiest for it to just disappear. Now, we have our sound file. We have it sitting here in a track. Uh, we need to add a loop region. Right click on the sound file itself and choose new loop region. And FMOD will automatically create this blue loop region that exactly fits the duration of this audio file. Let's hear what it sounds like. Here comes the loop point. And it repeats. It goes all the way back to the beginning. And musically, it sounds a little off because you end this, you get to this phrase at the end, it feels like it wants to reach another climax, and then it loops, and we're back in this timpani roll and cymbal crash. The loop is not working the way that we would expect it to. Um, and that's intentional. This loop is not meant to repeat the entire file. It's meant to repeat from the end back to a point here near the beginning and loop within the file itself. That's why this is called a nested loop. Well, the loop point actually needs to be set at 0.686 seconds. And we can specify that precisely here in FMOD to make sure that the loop occurs at exactly the right moment so that the rhythm is preserved and things sound musical the way that you intended them to. Right click on that loop region and choose this option move to. Uh, the first thing I'll do is deselect this little lock which means that when we change the start time it won't lock the duration and cause this loop to shift it will just make it shorter than it was. And then in the start time I'm going to type 0.686 seconds. That's where this loop needs to begin. Click OK. And you can see the ending point of the loop stayed where it needs to, but the beginning shifted just a little bit. We can zoom in on that, and that's as helpful because you'll really be able to see what that waveform looks like. Get this as close as I can. 
think that's about as good as I'm going to be able to get it. But yeah, you can see that. This is the section where there's the timpani roll and that big hit with the cymbal crash right there. You can just see, based on the way that the waveform looks, it looks like the music has more energy here. The waveform is more active. I'll zoom back out all the way and we'll play this so that you can hear what this loop is meant to sound like when it runs as a nested loop. Here we go. Get ready for the loop. And there, you could hear when it came around, it just kept on going as if that phrase was moving on on its own accord. But in fact, we see that it looped back to that section right at the first big crash at the beginning of the sound file. And in your game, when the behavior is set like this in FMOD, it will have this looping function and allow this sound file to sit and play in this state before the game needs to move on to another new musical building block. With that in mind, there's one last thing that we should do here to be sure that when you're ready for this sound to go away and another sound to take its place, you can have a smooth transition. This is another place where we can use an AHDSR modulator and set the fade time. So we do this on the master track of our event. Select the master track, right click on the volume knob and choose add modulation and then choose AHDSR. This is going to give us a fade when this event is done. So with that in mind, we don't want to have any sort of attack. That means it will impose a fade in on this event, and that isn't going to help with what we want. But we do want it to have a two-second fade out. Um, and that's just the value that we thought was right for this particular sound file. Your files may need to be shorter, may need to be longer. You can adjust that so that when you play your tracks back, they mix in the way that you want them to. But like I said, this needs to have a two second fade. So in this section where it says release, I'll double click and type two, and that gives me a two second release. And you can hear what that sounds like in F mod. Click on play. And here we are into our loop. And when I want to hear what that release sounds like, I'll just click on the stop button and hold it down and that AHDSR envelope will kick in and fade the music out. And there you have it. Look at the description below for links. Uh, all the tutorial files that we used here can be downloaded. Uh, and also take a look at the gray box demo video to see how this particular event works in context within a Unity game. Thanks for watching.